we're going to look at doing a sunlight analysis of our building uh, using uh, the sun path diagrams and positioning our building at our specific location on the globe and testing the uh, sun and shade angles at various times of the year. So to start, let's go down and turn on the shadows. I'm in the, f the south elevation. This is key. This is where we would do most of our testing for solar design. So I've turned on the shadows. I don't know what the settings are yet. We'll go look at that. Go over to the sun icon <coughs> and we'll just go up to sun settings first. And in sun settings, uh, the default is at lighting and that just gives you from top right or top left just to suggest some depth and that works fine for a typical uh, presentation drawing but we want to do a solar analysis so what we do is we're going to switch it to still okay so one point in time and once we click that we get choices of times of year summer solstice which is June 21st or winter solstice which is December 21st those would be the extremes uh, and good testing locations so we've got those um, I've already got mine set for Moose Jaw Canada but I want to show you how to do that uh, they have internet mapping under location and so for example I could search Toronto and hit search and it will find Toronto Ontario and I could say OK to that and it'll place me in Toronto okay so just a generic central location in Toronto so we're gonna do that same thing I'll revert back to Moose Jaw and there we are we've got Moose Jaw and I don't care about an a specific address just in our location it's mainly for the latitude position uh, next we can look at date uh, if we click on summer solstice it goes to uh, June 21st. Now if, if the date's wrong, if the year is wrong, you can simply type over that 14 because you noticed in, in session it was sit sitting at 2010 and rather than sc scrolling through all the way up for four years you can just re overwrite that date. Okay, so we've got it set to still. We've set our location to Moose Jaw. We've set our date now automatically by the summer solstice. If I click on winter it's December 21st and then the spring and the fall at different times of the year. So let's use summer solstice and we can set it for uh, let's start with 9 a.m. You can change the time of day in here. We're gonna go with 9 a.m. so it's gonna be a fairly low sun from us from the side from the east, right? Uh, next thing is we want to make sure your ground level is at grade. So I've got mine set at front grade. That's just gonna be when we show our sun path diagram later. Okay so let's say apply to that and see what happens with the shadows. There they are, extreme uh, low sun from the east at 9 a.m. So that if I go OK to that, we can also go down back down to the sun icon and we can turn on the sun path diagram. And that will actually show the sun in the uh, sky for us. There it is. I'll just back out a little bit so you can see the sun and its sun path diagram. There it is. So it shows the sun floating across the sky. Now I th I'm going to recheck my settings here. Summer solstice, front grade. Yeah, that looks good. Now if we want to change, so we could capture that and use that as an image in, in our uh, a report if you wanted to show the client or doing a report. Um, I'm going to check it now for noon, so I'm going to go ahead three hours and say OK. Still in June 21st, but the sun will move up here to noon and change of shadows is shown. So we can have a really good idea of uh, what kind of shadow coverage we get for uh, our summer hot summer sun with the different types of overhangs. Okay, so this is where we would decide on the length of our overhang, the position and size of windows. Uh, let's have a look at the winter. Sun settings. 
and we'll go to winter solstice at noon and just compare the difference there. Now remember in the winter we want to allow that warm sun in in the cold days so notice how low it is and our overhang is almost making no difference now so we're getting maximum sun penetration in the winter whereas before on these windows we had about 25 to 30 percent shading. 